This video is for mathematics teachers or for those parents who want their children to excel in mathematics with the help of using interactive online math solver tools. There are many online mathematics tools are available but in this video I'm going to demonstrate four of them. Because I don't want to give you just the name of these tools, I would like to demonstrate at least so much that will enable you to decide which tool is best suitable for your students or for your children. And we are starting right after this short break. The online math solver tools which we are going to discuss today, three out of these four are absolutely free. And number four has both free and paid versions. And let us start from this number four. This is a website ixl.com. And this website does an amazing job by providing students a large number of practice problems. This website covers mathematics curriculum from year 1 to year 12. You can even check the curriculum of all the advanced countries like US and Australia etc. But this is not an issue because students of year 1 to 12 they normally should be learning same sort of skills no matter in which country they reside. And then this website divides all those mathematical skills into various sections. And if you look at this website, you will notice that the division of these mathematical skills is very good. And the best part is that when students do these problems, some of them will be correct and some of them will be wrong. If the question is correct, the website offers the next question. But if the question is wrong, then the website shows a step-by-step -step solution to the problem. This is fantastic because some students are so smart then they can learn from this on their own without the help of the teacher. If you are a teacher, you can import your students from other platforms. For example, Google Classroom. So I am importing these students. And when you import students from other platform, the website will give you a username and a password for every student. You give these login details to your students and they will be able to access these problems. And when they will be doing all these problems, the website will keep record of what they are doing, how many questions they are answering correct or wrong. And then the best part is that website will show you what are the problem areas for each and every individual student. And in this way, you can communicate to the parents that your child is weak in these areas so it might need some tutoring for example or some extra exercises in those particular areas so this reporting feature of this website is fantastic for teachers and for parents in particular for those parents who are homeschooling their children and now the math solver tool at number three is matrixcalc.org this is also a website but on this website there is a fantastic math application on matrixcalc.org, you can perform matrix multiplication, matrix addition subtraction. On this website, you have two matrices where you can put entries and perform operations. So I have put few entries and because these are square matrices, three by three order. So they are compatible for multiplication. So I just click A cross B and it will show me the multiplication of these two matrices. And if I click on this details matrix multiplication, it will actually show me the whole process of matrix multiplication and how you can reach the answer. For this particular matrix on the left hand side, you can find the determinant, find the inverse. If it exists, you can find the transpose. So let's click on this. As you can see that the rows and columns have been interchanged. If you want to clear this, you can click clean and it will be cleared. You can increase the size of the matrix by clicking on this plus sign, but it still stays the square matrix. You can also solve system of linear equations and then you put the coefficient of the variables here and the constant term on the right hand side. And then you can solve these equations by using various numerical analysis methods. As you can see, solve by Kramer's rule or by inverse matrix. Gaussian elimination, Jordan elimination, so all these methods are here. Then there is determinant calculator, just put the entries and you can find the determinant. Similarly, eigenvalues calculator is also available. So I have inserted this matrix previously and as you can see that it shows us step by step process of finding the eigenvalues of this matrix. It's a lengthy process and these are the 
people who are putting effort so we are thankful to these guys that they have put a lot of effort for developing this website now the math solver tool at number two is symbol lab with only one l.com and this is an awesome website for math teachers it is full of resources and it can help you develop your own mathematical teaching resources and there are so many features that I would like to jump on my computer and I will show you some of these amazing features for this tool. You can access Symbolab Math Solver by typing Symbolab in Google and you will reach this website. This is their logo. Click on that. So the only drawback here is that you will see a lot of ads running on this website and it looks spammy. But in fact, it is a very useful website. So on this icon, you have your account details and you have some settings. I am currently logged in into my free account, but these tabs are of interest for us. Here we have cheat sheets and on this cheat sheet, if you look on the left hand side, you have formula sheets for algebra, for trigonometry, for limits, derivatives, integrals. So for calculus, algebra and trigonometry, you have these formulas and you can download these formulas by clicking on this PDF. So all formulas are organized for you at one place for all these subjects. Then we have these groups. Here you can create a group and where you can share your problems and graphs with your class fellows or your colleagues. Then we have notebook. And this is a place where you can take notes. So I have only one note here for demonstration. Uh, you can put some tags and then you can filter those notes later on. Then we have geometry. On the right hand side, you can draw various geometrical shapes. For example, let's draw a triangle. And then what you can do is when it draws a triangle, it will give you these names of the vertices. So you can enter data on the left hand side. For example, you can say that let's take AB is equal to five and click on this tick sign it will take a b five and it will show the value here then let's take a c is equal to nine and b c equals eight so it will take all these values here and then if you want to find let's say angle a b c so i will click on this find first and then i will select an angle from here and let's take angle a b c and i click this tick sign now this will come in the lower area, find angle ABC and then I have to click go and it will solve this for me by using the cosines law and if you click on these show steps, it will show you all the steps for calculating the angle. So in this way, you can create educational resources for your students, very useful tool. You don't have to perform all these steps by yourself. It will solve the geometrical problems for you and it will give you the step by step solution as well. Let's move on to the next, the practice area. And in this practice area, there are some quiz available for paid users. Then we have graphing. So let us draw a graph of x square. If I click on x square, I will get this box. And if I click left arrow three times, I will reach here where I can type x and it will draw the graph of x square. You can change the exponent by clicking on this exponent and then you can change the value to 3 and it will plot x cube for you. And if you click on these settings, you can adjust the range of x and y axis in this area. Let's leave it. And now the next one is the most important part of this website, solutions. If I click here, let's leave. And if I click on these examples, there are few examples. You can find the solution of all these problems here. For example, I click on calculus and then I want to find the derivative of something. It will show me few options. And if I want to put my own, for example, the derivative of x cube. So I will type x, then hat, hat is for power. And then I type cube and I click on go. So it will show me the derivative of x cube and also the two steps involved in this. You can solve limits, integrals, ordinary differential equations and so on. And this is really powerful. Let's say you want to find the integral of, let me delete this part. If I want to find the integral of, let's say sine square x, I can find the integral and also all the steps involved in finding this integral. So this is again very helpful for creating educational resources for all these subject areas of mathematics. And now at the end, which is the number one tool 
for teaching mathematics online in my opinion is called GeoGebra. Using GeoGebra, you can clear the concepts of your students in many innovative and creative ways. It provides you all the tools which you need for teaching mathematics, in particular geometry and algebra. It is a graphing tool. You can plot algebraic functions. You can draw geometrical shapes. Then you can make animations. And the best thing about GeoGebra is that you have a community of millions of people and they have developed a large number of educational resources for teaching mathematics which you can take advantage of and you just use those resources. Most of them are publicly available, but you must give the credit to the designer of that uh, mathematics resource. And I have a separate video about 15 minute tutorial on GeoGebra. If you are interested in learning more about this software, I will put a link at the end of this video, which you can watch. And all of these tools, they deserve a separate video. But I'm not sure that whether you are using any of these tools or you are interested or you have become interested after watching this video. And if you want me to make a dedicated video for any of these four math tools, please put in the comments the name of the tool. And if I get few of you interested, I will make a separate video for that tool. So I hope you like this video. I make videos about online teaching various tools and techniques for students and teachers and also videos about some of the subjects which I teach. So you can check the description of this video for further details. I will also be putting a time stamp of this video in the description so that in future if you want to have a look at any of these tools that will save you some time. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.